Robert lay in the bunk thinking he was always so afraid that he would get his orders to report in a place that held so much grief, so much pain, fighting and killing. He was only 17 and was so afraid that he spent his nights praying to God and praying that God would spare him and just let him go home. He had joined the Marines April 1st, April Fool's Day. What a fooling it had been. Had he made a mistake? He was sure he had. He thought it would be easier here, easier as a Marine than it had been at home. Home was so hard, he had thought. Now lying in his bunk and praying for God to save him, he knew he had been wrong. Home was not hard, and his dad was not hard, and his life was not hard. This was hard. Attention! The men all stood erect and at attention. Creased and oblivious to the outside world, Robert looked straight ahead, without emotion or expression, seventeen and scared. He was the molding figure of a Marine. Marching was an everyday event. His workout never stopped. Why had he chosen this branch? Why had he chosen any branch? Robert recalled something as if it were a very deep memory and suddenly it emerged like it was yesterday. When he first got there, they had shaved all the boys' heads carelessly. Some were even bleeding from their heads. Moles and scabs were cut right along with the hair to the scalp. They were lined up and given inoculations. He had never seen such brutal shots. They used an air gun ejector and walked from one boy to another and shooting their arms with it. Blood splattered over the boys and onto the gun. Is this possibly where he contracted his hepatitis C? Robert thought back to when he actually wanted to join. Had it really been so long ago? He was 16 and so eager to get away from